What's up, Indy, baby? Hi, Indy. Hey, Indy. Hey. Indy. Hi, Indy. Hey, India. Let's get it, Indy. Get it in Z on the bed frame in front of the floor. Switch it around. I'm on the floor in front of the bed frame. And today we are here for a very special video. It's the Ask It in the question and answer segment. It's a trap going down. So um, for the past few days, I've had you guys email me videos of you guys asking questions. Or I've had you guys comment on Twitter and Instagram, anything you want to ask. So I'm holding up my half of the bargain. I've gotten some crazy ass questions, but I told y'all I was going to answer them. So that's what I'm going to do. You feel me? Hair flip. Hair flip. Shout out to um, Jadora Moore, always having me on fleek. You know what I'm saying? And with love, niece. My question is, no, first off, what's up? Bro, you follow me on Instagram and I was about to like kill myself that night. I was happy as fuck. Thumbs up for that. But my question is, can you like some of my pictures on Instagram? Like, bitch, I'll commit suicide tonight if you like some. So I got this video a couple of days ago. Uh, don't commit suicide or nothing like that, but I definitely followed her. I definitely... um commented and liked some of her pictures so she was juiced and I was juiced and she was juiced and everybody was juiced we was well hydrated you feel me yes I get this question I promise you guys all the time and I don't even I don't even understand what about me it is I definitely appreciate beautiful women but I am in no way bisexual I'm definitely straight love I love me a fine, sexy, chocolate, muscular, dark, ooh, hey, bring it over here, but keep it over there. Like, you know what I'm saying? I definitely love guys. So, I'm straight. Um, yeah. Um. I definitely wasn't ready for that question, but why would you want to do that, though? How old am I? How old do I look? What about now? I am 20 years old. I was born on August 25th, 1994. Save the day, you feel me? Virgos is out here on every day, real ready. On every day, if you ain't no Virgo, you feel me? You a hoda, you feel me? No, you're not. I'm sorry. My name is Get It Indy, is, um, I'm Slim Dile, Sli, whatever, Sli, yeah, Sli. Um, I'm from South Africa, and yeah, my Instagram handle is probably going to be over there, 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 okay, so yeah, um, I love you, first of all, I want to say I love you, uh, oh yeah, this is my room. Okay, and yeah, I love you. <laughs> um, because I mean, who doesn't love you? I mean, you're like the awesomest person in the world. Anyways, okay. So, my question was, um, I just wanted to ask, like, um, how did you create the indie group? I mean, it's so cool and everything, but. I wouldn't I would have never thought of something like that and I just wanted to ask yeah like who helped you and what made you think of the indie dip of making up something called the indie dip. Where did the indie dip come from? Did you make that up? Did your friends make it up? Where did that originate from? You are so far away. So I appreciate you taking the time to really, you know, send me a video and show your support and I love you more, first of all. You are gorgeous and I love you more. As far as the indie dip, no, it's not something I created. Um, that's how we dance out here in the Bay Area. We dip, you know what I'm saying? We do a little grind and stuff like that. So the dip itself was how the Bay Area dance. I was in a party and when I do my little dip, I go down really, really low. So people just started calling it the indie dip. And I was at every function known to man around the Bay. I was in Antioch. I was in Fairfield, Vallejo. I was across the bridge in Oakland and stuff like that. So I just kind of got known for dipping down really low. And they just started calling it the indie dip. But that movement, that that dolphin snaky type thing, I didn't come up with that. It's just how we, you know what I'm saying? 
I keep doing it. It's just how we dance out here. Oh my god, you guys are trying to view all of my business. Y'all know I'm private when it comes to stuff like that, but I'm gonna tell the story. So, I'm 20 now. I lost my virginity two years ago when I was 18. I was in a 100% committed relationship. I 100% loved, love, 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 love the guy that I was with. And when it happened, um, it happened on Halloween. Well, okay, first it happened, it happened on his birthday. So, <laughs> he waited a really, 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 really long time to get to get it. So, let's all put that out there right now. You know, that was that was his birthday present. <laughs> and then and then, you know, it was really uncomfortable the first time that it happened. So, um we did it on his birthday. It was very uncomfortable. Um but it wasn't as bad as, you know, I thought it was going to be, especially since when you love somebody so much, it makes it a lot easier. If you're going to just go out and have sex f with someone for the first time that you don't even like or know or anything like that, it's going to be it's going to be really emotionally damaging, I feel. So, it was fine and then um halloween came around which was three days after his birthday and he was like so you want to try again and i was like yeah and then <laughs> yeah so two years ago i was out of high school i was in college i was in a committed relationship so suck a dick for anybody who thinks otherwise <laughs> the worst kiss i ever had was when someone was eating my mouth and when he had kissed me, I'm like, oh, yeah, we about to kiss. Oh, it's about to go down. Uh-huh, uh-huh, let's do it. So I have really small lips. And so my lips are like this, and his lips were like this, too. So, uh, uh, okay, whatever. And then he had came in. First of all, I thought he knew how to kiss, but he didn't. So we was about to kiss, and he said, ugh. And I said, it was horrible, like, horrible and it, it just completely made me stop liking him for a minute because it was that bad why are you eating my face it was horrible oh it was so bad don't let anybody ever eat your mouth yo what's up getting indie who inspired you to do music like is it only the bay area people or like people around the world so who inspired you to do music and thank you so much for sending your question i appreciate it um i think tpe inspires me to do music not because um, not because of anything else, but their motivation. So I was really nervous. I never wanted to do music. You can ask them. They would try to get me on a song. I would always say no. I thought I didn't know how to rap. The first song I ever made in life was completely horrible. And, um, they, they really just motivated me and told me that it, it's something you got to work at. Practice makes perfect. So I kind of started playing in the studio a little bit with my brother Infamous and we ended up coming out with a couple tracks. And after that, I realized it was something that I really, really liked. Um, I've talked to some people, you know, especially since high school, I'm 20 years old, so there have been people that i talked to, but official boyfriends, I've only had two, surprisingly. I've only had two real boyfriends, I would say, um, ooh, but I was in love, I swear to God, I was in love with this boy in high, in middle school, first of all, in middle school, and then going into high school and I will never forget him like I, pr I promise you I really loved him his name was Devon McBride I loved me some Devon like I don't know where he is now I hope he's doing good but he was my boyfriend in my head for a very long time hey get it Andy <clears throat> I just wanted to say did you go out with Lucci this is Destiny bye but hey DJ Lucci. I went out with him for over a year, so we was we was moving strong. You know what I'm saying? We was doing our thing. So yeah, I went out with him. What's up, Indy baby? I just want to know one thing. You got a nigga that's treating you like the queen you're supposed to be, or what? You know what I'm saying? If not, how let your boy be Mac baby? You know what I'm saying? We out here. Got you. treat me like a little princess so um as far as that I'm, I'm covered right now you know what i'm saying but i i definitely appreciate you sending in your video the most embarrassing thing that happened to me okay i told myself i was not gonna say this but it's true because i i don't want to say it that's how embarrassing it is so at one point 
you know, Jadora couldn't do my hair. So I had to figure out something to do because my real hair is nice, but it's really a lot to deal with. I like my shit being underneath here because the weave, it just does what you need it to do. So I have bought this wig. <laughs> I had bought this wig and nobody knew it was a wig. I was trying to get my K Michelle on, you know what I'm saying? And during a video that we were shooting, and I have the fucking footage, and I'm so irritated that I have it, but I'm not gonna show it. Um, I was we were doing the Bay Area dance tutorial that was on World Star Hip Hop. That part he edited out, thank you, Priceless. But I was dancing with Priceless and then Sauce ended up jumping in, and then I don't know what happened, but my wig had came <laughs> Hella bad, but my wig had came off, and you know, underneath a wig or underneath a weave, your hair is braided. So I'm looking like little Bow Wow, you know what I'm saying? And I already have a big forehead, so my wig had came off. You feel me? It looked like they had peeled my muffin cap back blue. It was so embarrassing, and I know y'all want to see the footage, so I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> is my situation honestly um i'm not super rich you know what i'm saying and i'm not starving or nothing like that i'm, I'm kind of at a happy medium but my mom works so hard like my mom at this point is doing stuff that you know i never would have wanted her to do she works a lot you know what i'm saying she, she sometimes is pulling 15 hour days and you know i contribute to the the most that i can but where, what I'm doing right now is kind of up and down, so some months are really, really good, and I'm like, hey, make it rain, make it rain, make it, and then other other months, you know what I'm saying, where there aren't as many events, or I'm not getting booked as much, which happens with every artist is, you know, it's a little bit harder, so my motivation is my situation. I'm going to get my mom about this, and my mom is not going to be ever working again as soon as I hit the amount of money that I'm going to hit, so that's my motivation. My family is going to be set. I don't care what I have to do, but my mom will not be working. My question is just a simple question. All I want to know is, what are your hobbies? Like, what do you like to do in your spare time when you're not going to host parties or making a new song or performing or this, that, and the other? What are your hobbies? What do you like to do? Hey, girl. My hobbies, though, I love to cook. Love to cook. I love to act out skits because I, I still want to be an actress so I'm always acting out skits and just kind of doing funny stuff on the low. Um, I love to dance. I've, I've been dancing a long time so um, I love to dance and just regular stuff too. I like bowling. I like race car driving. I like roller coasters. I like all of that fast type stuff so my hobbies are, are pretty much stuff like that. How did you like get inspired to do this YouTube stuff? And how did you keep all of it not getting in your way of school and, you know, your family life? Hey, girl. Thank you for sending me your video. Um, how did I get inspired with YouTube? I definitely got inspired by my junior year teacher. Her name is Miss Rosaya from Berkeley High. Um, she kind of worked with me a little bit more personally, I think, than the other students because I really had an interest in video production and wanting to be an actress and stuff like that. So I'd stay after school and kind of, you know, take a little bit more time on my videos. And I'd always come and ask her questions at lunch. And so she told me how talented I was, and I just kind of went with it after that. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even be making videos. The busier my schedule becomes with everything, um, it is difficult, especially since me and my mom, we always kind of miss each, miss each other. She's always working, you know, she works very, very hard, and I'm always working, and so when I'm out of state and stuff like that, and I don't get to see her before I leave, it is really, really hard, but I always make time to kind of balance out my home life and balance out the other work that I have to do. Hi, Andy. I was just wondering if you think people as young as me, like 12 years old, should already be looking up to you. Thank you. I don't think I stand for anything bad. There are people who say... The dancing is so this and the dancing is so that. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to pull up a video where I've really sat my camera down and just start shaking my ass for people. It's not what I've done. I've done parties and I've done dance tutorials and stuff like that, but I've never just just put out a video of me in my panties or something. It, it, it's nothing like that. So if, if people kind of judge me off of that, 
then I find those people to be very, very ignorant because I have a bunch of videos that are talking about self-confidence, talking about how to deal with certain situations, talking about just self-esteem and how to really feel good about yourself. So I definitely think that I am someone to look up to, whether people do or not. You know, I'm not really concerned with it and it's not the goal, but I don't think that I stand for anything bad. And if anything, I stand for be yourself, don't care about what people have to say about you and follow your dreams. And so if that's what people also see me for, like I see myself, I definitely think that any age could look up to that. Hey, India. Um, big fan here. And uh, I was just wondering, um, where do you get your clothes from? Because they're really cute, like really cute. And another one is, I just wanted to know, what is your, like, true goal in life? What do you plan to achieve in the future? Hey, girl. Thank you so much for sending in your video. Um, where do I get my clothes? I kind of shop everywhere. Um, I'm not into, like, Gucci and Louis and Prada and stuff like that yet because my bank account is not going to accept that right now. But... I really shop everywhere from Marshalls to Ross to the stores in the mall to online and um, at the what, uh, what's it called? The thrift store is one of the main places I like to shop. Um, so I, I kind of shop a little bit of everywhere I would say, like literally everywhere. Um, but as soon as I get that done, once I hit my 1.5 mil, you feel me? I'm going to be everywhere. <laughs> So yeah, I kind of shop everywhere, but I love Marshalls. Marshalls is one of my favorite stores, hands down, no doubt about it. And a lot of Instagram boutiques. Uh, I get a lot of sponsors and stuff like that, so I actually am interested in the clothes that I get from my sponsors. Like, uh, CC Boutique, follow her on Instagram. I love her her stuff, her work, and um, there, there's a couple of others. Higher Moon, those are more like the t-shirts. Half Awake Clothing Co., love them. So it's a couple of different places that I like to get my clothes from. And, um... My ultimate goal is to always have to come up with another goal, pretty much. And I say that because when you set a goal so high and you reach it, it's like, what now? You know what I'm saying? So my ultimate goal is just to be always prospering, always reaching one goal after the next goal. Deal with a hating ass female. <laughs> I don't. I don't deal with hating ass females. Um, you know what? I spend a lot of time getting negative comments, uh, just from little stuff. From my appearance, you got a big forehead, or you got a big head. Period. Or, um, you're nasty, you're a slut, you do all this dancing, blah blah blah. I feel like I have to be doing something right. Every time I get these negative comments or anything, I don't give a fuck. None of these bitches are putting money in my pocket. None of these bitches are in my pants. None of these bitches are anything. So, at the end of the day, what people have to say about you doesn't matter unless it's your family or people who care about you. Because guaranteed, if people care about you and they're telling you stuff that you don't want to hear, it's because you need to hear it. So, that's pretty much how I take, you know, the hating and the criticism and stuff like that. At the end of the day, these are people I don't know who have nothing better to do but go on my page and make sure that they follow me and stay updated on me so that they can do these, you know, negative rants that they go on. So... I don't care. I don't care about them. Um, I can't care because if I continue to care about what people think about me, I'm not going to elevate. I'm not going to prosper. I'm not going to go anywhere. So I don't deal with the haters. Hey, Andy. My name is Chantel. And my question is, can you please give me a makeover? Like, hair done, makeup done, and like, just make over, please. Hey, Chantel, thank you for sending me your video. And my answer is, girl, send me an email. Where do you live? How old are you? What city and state? And if you're close, I could probably put something together. Because you know I got your dorm more and all that. So, hopefully you're close. <laughs> hey, Indy. Uh, my question for you is, were you planning on being this popular or did it just happen by accident? I still don't consider myself to be popular. Um, but... I always wanted to be something big. I always wanted to be in the limelight. Did I expect it to happen through YouTube? Definitely not, but I'm happy that it happened. And um, it just kind of happened literally overnight through one of my funny videos that I put up. So I am grateful that it took off. My 
15 goals are one um to come out with a body of work an ep a mixtape a project a movie i don't know and two to release a music video which my new music video featuring c2 saucy for my song btw is dropping on january 8th so i am accomplishing one of my goals so early in the year which is exciting so you guys make sure you tune in taking my talents elsewhere um a lot of people know me for that but you know i'm on some other stuff right now so it's not really a priority of mine but uh, i don't know hi miss unit indy oh my gosh i love you just just to start the video i love you i love everything you do i support you all the way i'm not a fan i'm a supporter because fans they're crazy i'm not crazy i'm a supporter but my question is, oh, and my name is Celeste. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I wanted to know, when are you coming to Philadelphia and throw a party for 18, for our teens? Because, you know, I'm a teenager and, you know, 21 is not my category. So I want to know, when you coming to Philly to come turn up with the teens? I definitely want to come to Philadelphia um, and thank you so much for sending the video but I'm, I am waiting to get booked okay have whoever promotes the parties out there but get an indie my email is right here and if you have someone book me I'll definitely come out so just waiting for these bookings I'm trying to get everywhere possible but I can't just fly places because people might not know me so you know I just wait for the bookings to come pretty much did I meet Prices the Rock? Well, it was at a party in Fit. Matter of fact, I'm going to let him tell you guys. What's up, man? It's Kid Kip Priceless the Rock. Um, how did I meet Indy? Uh, I remember first met Indy Fairfield. 707. Indy had it turned. She was in the crowd, bouncing, going crazy. You feel me? I seen her like, hey, that's Indy. That's, that's get it, Indy. And my, my man Boog was with me, and Boog was like, that, that's the girl from YouTube. That's Indy. So he went. Seen her bouncing on my lap came on. This was an OG function clap. If you know bounce, if you from the if you from the bay, you from the 707, you know bouncing on my lap, nigga. Function clap. But anyways, bouncing on my lap comes on. Book sees Indy. Indy sees Book. They looking at each other. Next thing you know, Book's yiking on it. And that was the first time I officially met Get It Indy. Getting that shit yiked. Couldn't handle it. Was getting broke off by my man Young Book. The truth, nothing but the truth. I mean, look, yeah. Okay, hey India. Hey. That's my little sister. I love y'all. Shut up. My name is Alicia, a.k.a. Lily. What? what? My name is Naya, anyway, a.k.a. Naya. She have two questions. I have two questions. My first question is, uh, do you have a brother or sister? And my second question is, what's your favorite food? My question is, how old is Price of the Rock? And will y'all ever come visit me? Yeah, that's our questions, and you can follow me on Instagram at Lili underscore so underscore sweet, and the Lili is L-E-E-L-E-E. -E -E. Yeah. You are. Shut up. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Do I have any brothers and sisters? I definitely do, and sadly, my oldest brother just moved out, which is horrible because now I'm the only one in the house, but I do have siblings, and my favorite food is chicken tacos with avocado. If it doesn't have avocado, I don't want it, honestly. No, I don't. And, um, little mama, for your question, Price is the Rock, I can't disclose his age because, you know, it's, it's not my business to kind of give away, so... He is older than me, but I don't want to give away his age. And as for your second question, I'm trying to get everywhere possible, but I'm not popular enough to just fly somewhere and expect people to know me. So I have to wait and be patient, and the bookings will come as soon as I get, you know, bigger and bigger. So one day I will be there, though. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, I want to thank you guys so much for taking out the time to comment your questions, to take the time to make videos, to send to me, and just your support overall. You guys mean more than you will ever know. I'm so appreciative for all the love that you guys show me. And um, more videos will be coming soon. I love you guys. And also, my new song, BTW, well, it's not new, but 
BTW is available on iTunes. So help me, okay? Help me elevate, okay, this graph. Because I have a graph that I'm trying to get to shoot up, all right? So... It is my first song on iTunes. I definitely want you guys to support the record. And the video for it, like I said, is coming out January 8th. Also on iTunes, C2 Saucy dropped his new song, Monster. So make sure you guys check that out as well. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for all the support. Continue to watch. Don't leave me because I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys are like my kids and y'all like my sisters and my brothers and my best friends and my boyfriends and my girlfriends. So please, don't leave me, people. No, no. All right. I love you guys.